Hey guys, so I did a write up on the USB C fix on the Pine Phone. So, anyone who ordered the Ubuntu Touch Community Edition and earlier, they will have a problem with USB C functionality on the Pine Phone. There are two pieces that need to be removed, and there is no software fix for this. I just did a write up, a blog post on it to try and include pictures I thought would be helpful for the process. So I'm going to run through the process real fast and try to explain it for you guys. So the first thing you'll need to do is turn the Pine Phone off and then remove all the back screws. After you've done that, you'll slip your fingernail between various points around the Pine Phone to slip the back cover off. And we do this gently, finding the weaker spots around the Pine Phone. It's pretty easy to figure out that part and then after we've done that we're gonna need to flip up the clip holding in the ribbon cable and after that we'll be able to take out the small ribbon cables around the pine phone all the ones along the back then after that we'll unclip this gold antenna wire and unsecure all things that would get in the way of us taking this blue board off the back so We'll also take the other ribbon cables that are holding in the front and back camera here and be sure to flip up the clamps that are holding down those ribbon cables as well. You can use tweezers or you can use your hand. You may have to jiggle the camera slightly just to get it to come out easily. From here we'll have more, two more of these ribbon cables to take off and this time we're going to need to pull up on the metal clamp holding them down and once you do that they should slip out neatly so after we've pulled back the metal clasp we've desecured all ribbon cables all the antenna wire we'll then take off the shielding and as you can see it's in between these clips right here so when you're putting it back on later keep in mind that it is actually between the clips it is not on the outside it is not on the inside but the metal shielding is actually betwe in between the clips. So after we've done that, we've gently gone around the shielding, we pry up that shielding gently, and we take off that shielding completely while leaving on this corner piece here, as it has nothing to do with what we're working on today. So then, once we've removed that shielding completely, we can observe the two pieces to remove here, squared off in red. Keep in mind it is right next to the 7688 chip here and that will be our mapping so we can make sure we remove the right pieces. We take our tweezers and we go to hold each one of these chips and at this point we have our soldering iron heated up to around 400 degrees and what we do from here is once that soldering iron is heated up properly we will then push down on these two pieces while grasping them with the tweezers and from here we will loosen the solder holding them down and we will use the tweezers to pull them up carefully you can also remove the chips by force if you don't have a soldering iron but be very careful because you can easily break something this is the, the best method is using a soldering iron and tweezers holding the chip <clears throat> with the tweezers as we heat up the solder underneath by pressing down on the two pieces and pulling up with the tweezers. What I did was I actually lifted the board off the table as I heated up the pieces to remove. So the tweezers are holding it up and it used gravity to pull, gently pull the pieces off as the solder underneath got hot enough. And from here we can see one of them removed for an example. Uh, one is still on, so I grasped this one and heated down with the solder as I pulled it off gently. And once we remove both of them, you will have something that looks similar to this. As you can see, keep in mind it is the two pieces that are in this direction in the ANX 7688, which is what we are trying to get working today. So once the two pieces are removed, we can then put the phone back together. Here are the two pieces removed. And once we've done that, we can issue Mod Probe ANX 7688. And from here, we can plug in our USB C cable. Uh, we can set up 
our USB uh, network where we can then SSH into our Pine phone or do any other kind of networking connections or use other USB-C devices. So after I've done everything and issued the mod probe, I then plugged in my USB-C cable and I received this output from setting up a network on my Pine phone using USB NM CLI. So this is what it should look like if you see the active ANX 7688 it looks like everything is working properly so that's what I have today guys I just wanted to show a little bit of close-ups and pictures of the process in case it helped give anyone the confidence to do some modifications on their own pine phone so that's what I have today guys please like and share subscribe and I'll be back later with more on the pine phone